Hey everyone, I am Bianca. Today I'm going to show you some Christmas DIYs from Dollar Tree. But before we get started, I'm actually going to show you some stuff that I found. So I decided to show this in my DIY video before the DIY starts. So I know some of you are more interested in just the DIYs, which is totally fine. So you can skip on over to that part. But if not, I really didn't get that many things. So I'm going to show you real quick what I got. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to be myself or I could be someone else. Let me know if y'all are interested in videos like this where I show um, my little hauls before my DIYs or if not, you know, just let me know in the comments below. First thing I want to show y'all is I know a lot of people are hating. They have areas in Dollar Tree now where there's more expensive items. So there's items that are not a dollar. They're like five dollars, like the ones I'm about to show you. And then I will show you my dollar items. So four foot Christmas tree for only five dollars i haven't even opened it yet because i'm sure it's very sparse but honestly i kind of like that look but when i saw it i was like wow that's that's actually awesome i really like that they have added these um more uh, expensive items at dollar tree let me know what you think they're still gonna have dollar items but i know there's like a love and hate type thing but let me know what y'all think about these um areas in dollar tree but i in my opinion kind of like that i think that's Cool that they're trying to step it up with the uh, you know the decor and um, items that they have so mm -hmm. all right so this is how it looks hopefully I can see it good so my dollar trees are barely starting to like roll in a lot of the Christmas stuff which was when I went last week so I'm gonna go again tomorrow at a bigger location that they told me about and see what they have a five dollar tree collar they when i went there were two different ones this one and the other one i think it said something about like farmhouse for only five dollars i think that's a good deal and it's pretty big and it'll fit perfect for my uh under my little tree so i also picked up a couple of these you know famous signs that we always get at dollar tree and they're two-sided let's see i have one upside down okay so i picked up two and i think they had like four different kinds so they have this one side and then they also have this other side so i thought that was really cool not sure if i'm going to use them as is maybe this one i really love that candy cane peppermint type theme um for my coffee area and um or do some diys with these see and then i picked up um some cute little houses so you can hang them on the tree or you can uh, just set them somewhere but i think they're a good size too to sit them on a tabletop you know for tabletop decor but i liked these because they have the um like plaid print the green and the red one more plaid and or gingham print i picked up two gift boxes one this one is the red and black one. This is Merry Christmas. And then the other one is Merry and Bright. And I like to pick these up for DIYs because they're perfect. They're made out of like a uh, cardboard type. So they're very sturdy. And there are just many ideas that come to mind for these um, gift bags. Here, so I picked up two of these snowflake ornaments. Again, I know of a DIY to do with these. So... They're made kind of like out of a starter foam and then they just have some um, like bling. Then I also picked up these little mini wreaths and I noticed that I'm doing like, I have a lot of twos. <laughs> I just realized that. So these are the uh, mini wreaths that I found and I thought they were really pretty and actually perfect for if you want to hang them um, up somewhere. And also if you want to sit them this way and add a candle inside i think that would be really nice too so i really like the flocked look of course it's a little messy but i love that i'm really i really want to invest in a flock christmas tree so we'll see about that okay and for my crafting like actual crafting items i picked up let me see some of these wood planks i have the more rectangular wood planks this one comes in or both of them come in a six pack so I have the more rectangular shaped ones and then the square ones. And I'm actually going to use this one for the 
first DIY that I'm going to show y'all. I haven't been able to find these at my two local Dollar Trees. The one I went to last week was a um, Dollar Tree that was about, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes from me. This was my first time seeing these little wood shapes. I have a, a snowman one. They are all eight packs or eight pieces and some little Christmas trees and little angels. I just thought they were adorable. So I picked up one of each. I also picked up these Merry Words that come in a five pack and it says that they're color your own ornaments. Um, I might do some DIYs with these. I also picked up some DIY stickers. They come with snowflakes, trees, and little uh, presents. And lastly, for my DIY decor, I picked up a reindeer head, a snowman head, and a Santa head. So these are pretty good size. Look, they're about the same as mine. <laughs> and last but not least, this has nothing to do with decor or anything, but I always pick up scrunchies. I actually have one right now because I always use them for my hair. I like them better than actual rubber bands because they don't damage your hair as bad. Um, they have really good scrunchies at Dollar Tree, so I have quite a bit of them that I've been collecting. This is a two-pack, and then this one is a three-pack more on the like faux leather one, which I've never seen, so I thought that was pretty. And then, of course, some crafting brushes. And the last one I forgot to show y'all was this really pretty galvanized reindeer. They had, I believe, a few different kinds or like colors. And I really like this one the best, so I picked this one up. So for the first DIY, I picked up a lot of these rectangular long signs. They're pretty long. And you can find them for any season, so it's not just for Easter. Like right now, they have the Halloween ones out, and they're the same size as this one. So if you want to do this DIY, you can pick up one of those. And since the little feet on here are sticking out, I'm going to remove them. We're going to use the opposite side. So, you know, now you can't see them sticking out. This is actually an inspired DIY or dupe from Big Lots. Um, I saw a couple of, like, I think one of them said peace and then the one I'm going to do is going to say Mary on it. And I'm going to go ahead and paint this sign white. So I finished painting the sign with some just some white apple barrel paint. And now I am going to use these wood planks. First I'm going to sand them down and then we're going to use this red Anita's all purpose acrylic craft paint. And it is in the color 11350 Christmas Red. So I got this from Hobby Lobby. So now I'm just going to sand down the edges. Um, I want it to look like the Big Lot sign. See how it gives it that little edge right there that reveals the real wood. I like that look. So I'm gonna do that to all five of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue them on here. So I already kind of measured out how I need to place them. So they have a little, like a little bit of a separation between each of them. So as you can see, I already applied the end and I am using my Dollar Tree transfer tape, guys. This transfer tape, I am like so shocked at how much I love it 10 times more than the Cricut transfer tape. It removes the vinyl so easily with the Cricut one. I have to keep rubbing it and it just takes me way longer. So um, I did use my Cricut to cut out these letters. Again, I have many, many videos on my channel where um, I show you just different alternatives on, you know, lettering. So. Um, you can use the chalk that they have at uh, Dollar Tree, which I really love. I love how smooth it goes on. You can use that. There's so many different types of transfers and stickers at Dollar Tree. There's many, many options, like I said. So I'm going to just put this on and remove it. So 
Look at, look at that. It's so simple to use. And you wouldn't think because the, even the fill of this transfer tape feels kind of cheap, but it works very well. Okay, so now I am going, I have all of it done. It's so pretty, I really like it. I just have some greenery, some Christmas greenery that I have been having for a year or two, and then some berries. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put that at the top. Okay, so I am going to make a Christmas light post. Now this one, I think is gonna be really fun and look really cute. I want to make two. Um, I'm actually gonna go to Dollar Tree in a little bit and see if I can pick up more of these. That way I can make two of them. I wanna put one on each side of my uh, mantle. So what I'm gonna do first is just basically glue these together like um into a rectangular shape that way uh, this is going to be like the base of my christmas light post so what i like to do when i do something like this is grab my ruler to help me with this part And then I'm going to add more glue inside along that way it has more um, security to stay together. You can also add like a dowel right there too. Now that I have both of those, we'll glue them together. I'm gonna use my Dollar Tree skewers just to give it a more detailed look. I'm gonna add an X on each side of the base. So now I'm gonna take my uh, floral foam and I'm gonna stick it in here. This is gonna be to hold my pole inside of, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so it went all the way at the bottom. So now I'm just gonna trim the top. So I picked up one of these handles from Dollar Tree. This is just for um, like a mop or a broom. And what I'm gonna do is cut it to fit, uh, it's gonna be the pole for my uh, light post, Christmas post. 
um you can cut it many different ways so just be very careful what i did was very simple i just hit it with the hammer on both sides and then on the side too and i started twisting it back and forth and look it came right off and don't worry about this part being perfect because I'm, that's the part i'll stick into my base what we just made so i cleaned this really well you want to make sure it's clean that way the spray paint sticks well if you're going to spray paint it or you can just leave it black i'm going to spray paint it white with just some flat white spray paint and that way it gives me a good base and then i will wrap this with some red tape so it kind of gives me like that candy cane look okay so i have my uh, base right here I'm gonna put it off to the side and then I also have a few things that you can add to the top so there are many different things you can add um, like I have this Dollar Tree lantern you can put at the top and this is perfect um, and it also has the little candle that you can turn on so that's an option uh, you can add you know a piece of Christmas decor from Dollar Tree I found this water globe from Dollar Tree is that what it's called oh DIY snow globe they have two different sizes and a smaller one that's another option and then I also have the candle that I showed y'all okay so before that what we're gonna do is I went to Walmart bought this red tape and it was only 258 plus tax it was under three bucks there's my receipt and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it. So like I said, I want it to look like a candy cane. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in there just so I know about where it's gonna go. So now to cover up this area, I just removed the pole. I cut out a foam board piece. Now I'm just gonna poke a hole in the center. What we can do is add hot glue so this stays in place. So I'm going to lift it up and add hot glue inside and around this and also use my level to make sure the hole is straight. Okay, so for the top, I am going to use this, but like I said, there are many options that you can do, and I'm just gonna remove the, the lid. And I have um, some faux snow, this is all from Dollar Tree, some Christmas wood shades, and some little snowmen. So I'm actually gonna leave these as is because I think they look really cute. I'm gonna glue them on here. So I took out these DIY stickers I'm gonna use one of the trees I think I'm gonna put one like sitting like that and then a snowman like I'm gonna glue this like that and then I'm just so it's leveled up a little bit more and then I'm gonna cover it with some of the snow I'm gonna make a mess I already know <laughs> but I just need it to be a little higher and I'm still going through a lot of my Christmas stuff. I know I have bigger items that could fit in here. Oh shoot, and I also gotta make sure this... Okay, that's fine. I thought I went through everything. I guess not, I don't know. Because I figured I did have like some bigger items that would look good on in here. So 
So I got it looking like this already and now I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. Let that dry, I'm gonna let that sit for a while and I'm gonna add more of this snow in here. This is how it looks. Kind of cute, okay. And you can add more in there if you want. I'm just gonna add those two. And I painted it white. It's gonna go on top of this part. That way I can glue the globe like that. So what I did was add a one of those Dollar Tree wreaths right there and then I also added one up here. So now what I'm going to do is take a, uh, a box of fairy lights and just wrap it around the whole thing. So I just moved the lamp light a little out the way so you can really see it lit up. So that's another option you can do is just pick up, you can pick up some fairy lights from Dollar Tree or from Walmart and just wrap it around the um, the post. So I just came from outside. I was spray painting the pole and my puppy jumped on me and I got scared and then I like hit my hand on the table and I, oh my goodness. So now I really have to go to the nail place. But anyways, <laughs> I picked up these two pieces of wood from Dollar Tree. If you hear noise in the background, it's my puppy. I have just this piece and then this one that has uh, a piece of twine so I'm gonna remove this and we're gonna sand these down really well as you can see there's a bunch of rough edges okay so I sanded them down as best as I could I'm gonna use the antique wax on one of them and then this the khaki paint on the other one now that I got these painted I'm gonna go ahead and sand them down just to give them a little um, distress All right, now I am going to hot glue these two together side by side like this. So I have two options when it comes to the actual light up here. So these are candlesticks, right? I just picked up these LED emergency candles from Dollar Tree. And all you do for this is just unscrew it. Okay, add your batteries. Okay, so these are the LED ones, which you can um, glue them to the back like this. But I like the other look better, which is this one. I think it looks more pretty, so I'm gonna use this instead. And look, to use this, I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I already messed around with it, and you just remove the bottom. Be very careful. And then this little part just comes off at the top. Okay, so I pulled that out. And then this little part comes off like this. So I just put this back on and you can turn it on. And I love the flicker. I think that just makes it look more realistic. So I'm gonna glue this to the back like that and just have this sitting like this. So instead of using hot glue, I'm gonna go ahead and use some tape instead. And I found a way to get it on here. So, and that way also it won't be sticking out and showing. I'm gonna set it like this. And that way this has enough space to pop up here. And this one has enough to pop up right here. I know it looks kind of crazy right now, but it's going to be turned the opposite way. You're not even going to be able to see this side. And plus, I believe I'm going to wrap it with something, like maybe some greenery, Christmas greenery or something like that. So, so now I'm going to take another piece and just 
take that right there. I took a stem of Christmas greenery, it has little like red berries on it. And before adding my um, bow right here, I'm gonna pretend like this is like wrapped around like this, but I'm just gonna wrap it right here in the front and I'll just use more tape right here. For this next fun one, I am going to use some foam board to make this Christmas tree candle holder. What I'm gonna do is use my ruler to basically make a template for myself for the Christmas tree. So once I get one down, I can use that one to create the other three. So there's gonna be a total of four. So it's gonna look like this, hopefully you can see it. But except I'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger. I practiced with this yesterday to see if it would even work. And this was what I came up with. So I'm gonna make four of these, but I'm gonna make, I think I'm just gonna make the top a little bit longer. So I was doing three inches. I think I'm gonna do five. And if not, we can just cut it down. Five like that. Mark it with my pencil and then come back this way and do, okay, let's do two inches. cut out um, a piece of this. I did, how thick is this? This is about half an inch thick. So do it about that much. I'm not gonna measure it because it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just gonna go along like this, something like that and make another line. To cut the foam board, it's really easy. What I do, I've showed y'all this a few times, is I grab a blade, this is from Dollar Tree, and it comes with like six different blades, so just pop one on. And what I like to do is score it, just making sure that the blade is going through. And then once I make my way around the whole thing, scoring it, then I will put it like at the end of the table and then push all the way through, and that's just the easiest way I've found. And then you can sand it down a little if you want with the sanding sponge from Dollar Tree. I cut out the, the two that I needed. And what I decided to do was leave that there's like a piece of, of like the paper on there. Leave it on there because I started to remove this one a little and it is a little more flimsy. So leave it on, it's just better for it. And I also cut off a little bit more at the bottom. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and paint it with my red, my red Christmas paint. Now what I'm gonna do is take some of my Walmart ribbon and I'm using the really thin ribbon. I'm gonna use the red one. And I actually got this ribbon last year on clearance after Christmas, which is like the best time to go because it's just super cheap. So uh, you just have to know the day when that happens because if not, everything will be gone really fast. But what I want to do with this ribbon is just basically outline it. That way you won't see too much of that, like um, the foam board like coming apart. So this will make it look a little cleaner and it's like almost like the perfect width of a ribbon for that.
To set this up, I'm going to use a rectangular wood piece from that pack that I purchased. I'm going to hot glue down the foam board on each side standing up just to make it look like the Big Lots candle holder. And then that Dollar Tree candle will go in the middle. So the last thing I wanted to do was go ahead and make a little wreath to go around here just to give it more uh, detail I guess just to make it look a little more pretty and to make it look like the big lots one berries I love using the red berries because it just brings out the Christmas greenery so I'm going to kind of just twist it and wrap it around like that Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed my DIYs and I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now.